given that this is only for short test and I will not leave the RX disk in here, I will just plug it in like this. Need to reset the environment to boot RX because this environment setup is for booting Linux. I even got a second software library. What is amazing to me is that those Unix folks and fans really keep all this stuff so well maintained and such. And uh, actually need to check. It's a slightly older version I think of Irix. The CD is also different. Let me show you mine. Not making this up here is my first software library and this is the second so the second I got the box looks even nicer. I guess my box already mostly came like this, slightly crumbled but um, now I need to be careful not to mix here something in my awesome collection and the discs I had look slightly cooler. You see they have this nice SGI logo on them. Actually one of those already looks the same but the others are... No, actually I was wrong. Those SGI CDs look already the same. So this is 658 and I have 6512. Just that some only this foundation CDs look different. And what would be cool I need to check another day. Here this hot mixes. Oh no. Unfortunately I'm not that lucky this is hot mixes 19 and the other also so unfortunately not a new hot mixes because it would have been cool to have this Steve Jobs promotion video that I used in my first YouTube video on an original SGI CD I certainly won't complain to have a second software library set so to the demos um, So the slow thing was the egghead and this is running much better now. I tried this already the other day. You can check with my earlier video before it was running at maybe one frame per second or something or maybe even less and now it should be quite smooth there. Look, look at this. This is pretty smooth. Not sure if it has a frame counter somewhere. But this is, of course, really nice. Of course, a huge upgrade from one frame per second. So maybe this is 30 frames or I don't know. I need to check if it has a frame count or somewhere. But this is, of course, a dramatic difference. And, um, and one commented that on my earlier video, it would do the textures in software if the card doesn't have texture memory. So given the speed of this other thing, this sure looks like it was doing this in software. So the question is what were the other demos? There was this huge engine module. Here's some earth tile demo that runs really smoothly. Not sure if it... I've actually not seen this before. Maybe it didn't load before. Not sure if... I had to edit this huge engine module thing. Actually I wonder why this is not starting I edit. If you watch this other video I'm not sure why this original version is not running here. We have of course some other demos that may have run before already relatively well so not sure if that's a huge improvement. Uh, what was it? Text cube also. So not not really sure which of those demos run before and how well. I'm not running these demos every day. Here's this dogfight stuff. Once some service uncommented. I don't know. Why is it? Or maybe this is a regular flight simulator. Um, however. Oh yes. 
three, but um, I don't really feel like learning how to fly this thing now. And ah, this is cycled, but even. Here I do not want to really get into learning how to play this here right now. This is of course when you look on this, this is really snappy and I mean of course it was super expensive back in the day. So as I said in the earlier video, the starting price of the high-end modules were 50,000 US dollars something. Later the entry level models were maybe like 30,000 US dollar or so but still at that time, the higher end modules with dual CPU, high end, later at the end 600 megahertz, dual processors and such, they were much over $50,000 again, the, the very highest end modules with higher end graphic options and such. Of course, 20 years ago, this was, of course, super impressive, all the snappiness here. Even today, zooming on the desktop is not always as fast on Windows and Mac OS and such. So let me take one last look on the other demos. Because even on even on this higher end graphic, it's still, for example, this Porsche huge engine model thing here, still errors out as seen in my earlier video with syntax error. And uh, yeah, I mentioned there already that I wonder about this software quality. Also, at least one other demo here is segmentation faulting. Was it this one? No. But again, I'm not sure how well, uh, this is, so not, not sure how well this demo run before or if it run maybe it didn't run so here yeah, some nice stuff here but I take another look to the shell script of the switch engine model and see if I can get it running with textures maybe now it works looks like here was a Zen missing in this if hinf grab stuff Zen and if test here so after reading all of this and comparing back and forth I put here a Zen and now, because it, before it was syntax error at 160 something, which was here. So, and here is ESEC, the reverse case here, and here is an else. So, I really wonder why and how they shipped it like this. And also, notice here this dialog stuff of what it is X confirm, super awesome buttons. So, let's see texture. And we have a textured Porsche engine module that of course looks much nicer than in the previous video with my non-textured video board. Let's see, non-textured, I think this is, this is about how it looked, probably more or less, it would be interesting to compare the performance, but well, okay, so the CPU is slightly faster and um, not sure if the graphic board is faster. It feels a little bit faster though. Not super much faster. It was on the other Octane with the other video board. It was a little bit um, sluggish. But um, yeah, so this is non-textured. Textured. Actually, now it's outputting here the speed, but now we have two running. That is, of course, a stress test for the poor SGI. Let's quit here one again, so exit. So, yeah, so this is running five frames. Yeah, would be interesting to compare. With the other one actually why is it faster now so 1,152,104 per second optimized for speed it's 1.3 million 11 frames and Texture 
actually the window size probably also has an influence. Um, so textured it is 7 frames with 806,000 trips per second. Let's optimize this also. But now it looks different actually. That is a little bit unfair though. So, 7 frames, 800,000. Let's see, does full screen make a difference? 7.1, 802,000. Yeah, so state of the art SGI Octane 3D graphics from 1996. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. I certainly could not be happier to have a second Octane and give it a thumbs up if you have. Share, like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe for all the next videos to come.